Hello wrestling fans, The Wrestling Wizard here and welcome to another video and in this video we're going to look at potential ways that WWE could reveal the White Rabbit and Extreme Rules. Is it Bray Wyatt? Are we going to see him physically? Are we going to see another cryptic message? Are we going to get more clues to follow? All those questions remain and in this video we're going to discuss some potential theories and ways this all ties up. We're also going to go back to Alexa Bliss and The Fiend at WrestleMania 37 and potentially tie in things because I think things are going to come full circle. Remember, The Fiend never forgets. As always, be really appreciative if you can like the video, share the video and even better, subscribe if you're new. So let's get to it. Now it's safe to say after this week's episode of Monday Night Raw, there was a strong emphasis on the Bianca versus Bailey matchup. And there's a good chance that that matchup could main event Extreme Rules. And if it does, I honestly believe this is where we could get a physical reveal of the White Rabbit. Now, before we go into my theory, as always, get down in the comments section, share your thoughts and opinions and your theories on the White Rabbit in relation to Extreme Rules. Do you think this could be revealed in another match? Um, I personally don't see where it fits elsewhere on the card. I think this would be the match to deliver to tie in the links with Alexa Bliss. But again, all your thoughts and opinions are welcome. So this is how I see it going. Now, I predicted in my previous video that I think that Bianca is gonna retain. But at some point, I think something is going to cause Alexa Bliss to snap. She teased her sister Abigail a couple of months ago. What happens when she hits that sister Abigail? Like, we have to see. But I think somewhere along the lines, maybe at the end of the match, she'll turn on Bianca. Bianca, after all, did pin her back at Elimination Chamber. We know psychologically she's not quite there. I mean, she had therapy for crying out loud. But then what if at the end of that, the White Rabbit song plays? And after the lyric hits, remember, it transitions into the Fiend's theme and we see the Fiend staring down Alexa Bliss at the ramp, maybe even creepily appearing behind her. I don't think there'll be physical contact if we were to see him physically, but I like the idea of psychological torture for the next few weeks. Now, just because we see the Fiend, this doesn't just mean we're going to see the Fiend return and it's going to be the same as what we've seen previous. I honestly believe if Bray when Bray comes back, fingers crossed, that we may see a Three Faces of Foley type reveal. Maybe the Fiend comes back just to get revenge on Alexa Bliss, and then we see a development into a White Rabbit gimmick, potentially. A demonic rabbit, something new. You've got to think that Bray has definitely got some form of alter ego incoming on its way. But he needs to clear up that Alexa Bliss arc first. That's safe to assume. And the crowd are going to pop the Fiend returns, they see the Fiend. WWE absolutely have to deliver something big. It has to be a major reveal. I favor now physically, now Alexa's involved. I'm not saying he physically needs to attack Alexa. I'm not down for, for men beating up women um, in this day and age. I don't think that's the way to go. I think it needs to be a psychological angle. And then maybe they break off separately down the line. Alexa goes into another character. She has teased that she would like to bring something new, but she's also teased the fact that she'd like to work with Bray again. So whether they're going to be together or not, I, I couldn't tell you at this stage. I couldn't predict uh, that far ahead at this stage. But what if we just see The Fiend come back for redemption? I mean, after all, he did update his Twitter bio with the words, a villain is just a victim from a different story. That different story, very different story, being a time when Vince McMahon was booking WWE. So what if this is a time where we tie up the loose ends with that storyline arc? We know Vince had no plans with that storyline arc, but I'm sure Triple H and Bray do. And it will be big. Think of the pop. Also, I like the fact of a physical appearance because he will be the main draw on that show. And if you look at Crown Jewel, Logan Paul and Roman Reigns is the main event there. And if you look at Survivor Series, it's probably going to be more geared towards the bloodline and war games. So it gives them time maybe to build a, an arc, maybe a faction of some sorts or whatever that could work with a three faces of uh, Foley type gimmick from Bray um, to build up a faction to take on the bloodline. So that would be quite cool. But for me, like logic wise, that makes sense. So there was a the whole Samson and Delilah references as well. So you've got to think that's, that's the route that they're going to go down. I'm absolutely pumped for extreme rules i cannot wait it's going to be an all-nighter for me i'm going to be up till like five 
or I'd stay I'd stay up all night literally to see uh, Bray Wyatt come back to WWE. But what after all, if it's a swerve, what what if it's a, a character coming back via Bray, a Bo Dallas, a Dexter Loomis? Like I can't see this actually happening. There could be others involved. Um, we'll have to wait and see. It's so hard to predict, which is what I love about this. We could be completely wrong with all this. And that's the beauty of it, because you know the genius Bray Wyatt has got something awesome lined up for us. Now, be interested to pay attention to this week's SmackDown as well to see if we get more clues. But I think Extreme Rules is going to be the place where we finally, finally get some answers. But we'll have to wait and see. Thank you so much for watching the video. As always, be really appreciative. You can like the video, share the video, and even better, subscribe if you're new.